السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی اسٹارٹ چیپٹر نمبر تھری میٹرسز اینڈ ڈیٹرمنٹس انٹروڈکشن بائل سالونگ لینئر سسٹم آف کوشنس آر نیو نیوٹریشن باز انٹروڈیوس to reduce the amount of writing for the new notation the word mats matrix was first used by english mathematician james sylvester arthur kelly developed the theory of matrices and used them in the linear transformation Nowadays, matrices are used in high-speed computers and also in other various disciplines. Next is concept of determinant was used by Chinese and Japanese but the Japanese mathematician Seki Kuo and the German mathematician Gottfried are credit for the invention of determinants g kramer applied the determinant sexually for solving the system of linear equation these are some names important in the history of matrices A rectangular array of numbers enclosed by a pair of brackets such as first example and second are called matrices. The horizontal lines of numbers are called rows and the vertical lines of numbers are called columns. The numbers used in rows or columns are said to be the entries are element of matrices the matrix in one has two rows and three columns while the matrices in second example four rows horizontal lines four lines and vertical lines are three three columns the number of element of the matrices r 12 4 multiply by 3 total element become 12 now in general definition of matrices a uh, bracket rectangular array of m cross n element like that m rows and n columns A11 means first row and first column. A12 means first row and second column. First index show row and second index shows column. And is called an M by N matrix written M cross N matrix. And M cross N is called its order. M cross N is called the order of the matrix. We will usually use capital letters such as A, B and C to represent the matrices and small letters to indicate the entries of the matrices. Let the matrix in be noted by capital A, the ith row and the jth column of A are indicated in the following tabular representation of a i throw and j th column the element of the i throw are 
and jth column entries we note that a i j is the element of the i throw and jth column of a the double subscripts are useful to name the element of a matrix for example the element 7 is at a23 means second row and third column in the given matrix if we see at the position second row and third column element is 7 now a matrix a i j and its order for i means rows and j means column is the element of the i row and j column same point there the element of entries or matrix need not always be number but in the study of matrices we shall take the element o of the matrices from real or from c real means real number c means complex numbers the matrices a is called real if all of its element are real next definition is row matrices or row vector a matrix which has only one row like one cross and its order is said to be row matrix or row vector column matrix or column vector a matrix has which has only one column like that is said to be column matrix and in this example 1 minus 1 3 4 is a row matrix having four column and this black shows column matrix rectangle matrix if m is not equal to n it means number of rows and number of columns are not equal then matrix is said to be rectangle matrix of order m cross n the matrix in which the number of rows is not equal to the number of columns is said to be rectangular matrix these are some examples in first case its order is 2 cross 3 and second is 4 cross 3 square matrix if rows and columns are equal then it is said to be square matrix of order m cross n r n cross m here are some examples in first matrix only contain one element its order is 1 cross 1 in second its order is 2 cross 2 and in third 3 cross 3 and we also write order is 1 order is 2 order is 3 respectively let a matrix be a square matrix of order n then entries with same index are called principal diagonal and entries with different index form 
secondary diagonal in example we mention by straight lines and first from left to right in which the index are same is called principal diagonal and in second in which the index are not same is called secondary diagonal in principle the principal diagonal of a square matrix is also called leading diagonal or main diagonal of matrix principal diagonal are also called leading or main diagonal of the matrix now diagonal matrix a i j b a square matrix of order n then a i j is equal to 0 if i is not equal to j at least one i j is not equal to 0 for a i is equal to j in which the index are same if any one element is not equal to 0 then is called diagonal matrix here's its example first matrix contain one element second principal diagonals 1 2 5 and in next principal diagonal is 0 1 2 4 and except diagonals all values are 0 and this is called diagonal matrices scalar matrix same like diagonal matrix but in this in principal diagonals all values are same this is called scalar matrix unit matrix or identity matrix b a square matrix of order n and a j is equal to 0 for all i is not equal to j and in diagonal matrix all the values are 1 is called unit matrix or identity matrix of order n and we denote it by i n capital i and index is its order if it contains two rows two column then we write there i2 in diagonal element or values are 1 then it is called unit matrix or identity matrix the identity matrix of order 3 is denoted by i3 and all diagonal elements are 1 null matrix or zero matrix a square or rectangle matrix whose each element is 0 is called a null or zero matrix with all of its element equal to 0 is noted by o m cross n if all the entries are 0 then this matrix is called null matrix or zero matrix equal matrix two matrix of the same order are said to be equal if their corresponding elements are also equal
addition of matrix two matrices are confirmable for admission uh, addition if they are of the same order the sum of a b if the order of a and b are same then we add their corresponding elements and then see the sum of a plus b also write a i j plus b i j and i shows the number of rows and j are columns transpose of matrix if a is a matrix of order m cross n then n cross m matrix obtained by the interchanging the rows and column of a is called the transpose of a it is noted by capital a then the transpose of a is defined as for example we have uh, matrix b then its transpose b change first row into first column and second row become the second column and third row become the third column here is first example uh, we show that a plus b transpose is equal to a transpose b transpose first of all we find sum of a plus b we add these two matrix then we find its transpose by interchanging rows into column then for right hand side we find a transpose b transpose and then add these values transpose same like we change rows into columns now scalar multiplication if a a matrix and k is a scalar then product of k and a denoted by k if a matrix multiply by any of any number it is called scalar multiplication and we write it like that a k a is equal to k because k multiply by the all element inside the a and if we multiply by n a like we add a up to n times or multiply it by n the same answer is there Now clear property hold for this condition and also associative property for scalar multiplication and distributive property and R and S are scalar elements and capital A B are the matrices. Next is subtraction subtraction is same like addition we have two matrices of same order addition and subtraction depend on order if order is same then we add them and subtract them according to their corresponding entries
next is the product for product both a and b no here in point 2 order of a is m cross n and order of b or n cross b in order of a we see that its column is n and order of b its rows are n if we multiply a b then first matrix column and second matrix rows are same then their product becomes m cross p therefore if we multiply b cross b into a it is not possible because column of b is equal to p and rows of a is equal to m not equal and they are not application applicable for multiplication but a b are possible and b a is not possible in multiplication first matrix column and second matrix rows should be equal another example then compute a square b we first find a square we write a in two times and then multiply no multiply like that we multiply first row by three column of second matrix like two multiply by two minus one multiply by minus one and zero multiply by one first row by first column first row of first matrix and first column of second matrix then we multiply first row by second column 2 multiply by minus 1 minus 1 by multiply by 2 and then 0 multiply by 2 and then first row multiply by third column same process third second row multiply by three columns and then third row multiply by three columns and then we add these values it becomes a square and then we multiply by a square by b again we write a square and then b and then multiply same process first row multiply by three columns of b and then second row multiply by three column of b and third row multiply by three columns of b Now oh, another important point is determinant of 2 cross 2 matrix. We can associate with every square matrix A over R or C real number or complex number known as A bar A magnitude is called determinant of matrix A. Determinant of a matrix noted by enclosing the its square array break between vertical bars instead of brackets the number of element in any row is or column is called the order of determinant for example we have our determinant matrix a then its determinant we write it by the straight line vertical lines its value to the real number we multiply the diagonal elements a multiplied by d and b multiplied by c and between them is minus first we multiply by principal diagonal and then by secondary 
diagonal. In two examples, we find the determinant. singular and non singular matrix a square matrix a is singular if a determinant is zero otherwise is non singular here example we solve its determinant is equal to 10 not equal to zero so this is non singular and in another example If it becomes zero, then it is called singular. Next is a joint of two cross two matrix. In a joint, we change a matrix in the form of, in principal diagonal AD, we replace their element. AD becomes DA. And in secondary diagonal BC, we change their sign in first diagonal we replace their values and in second diagonal we change their sign this is called adjoint of two cross two matrix next is inverse let a be a non-singular matrix of order two if there exists a matrix b such that we if we multiply a b and b a it is equal to identity then it is called b is inverse of a if we multiply two matrices and answer is this then they are inverse of each other Now here is example for a non-singular matrix A prove that A inverse is equal to a joint of A over A determinant. If A is equal to A, B, C, D and A inverse is P, Q, R, S then we in last definition we show that the product of a matrix and its inverse is equal to identity. Now we multiply these and equal to identity and multiply like we multiply rows by column a multiply by p b multiply by r and then a multiply by q and b multiply by s first row by first column and second column and same second row by first column and second column and these two determinants matrices are equal and we arrange their elements first element is equal to 1 second element is equal to 0 third element is equal to 0 and fourth element is equal to 1 and from 2 we have values of or put this in 1 and we get the value of p Similarly, solving 2 and 4, we get the values and here is its inverse. We place their values. Next, another example. Verify A 
multiply by a inverse or a inverse multiply by a first of all we find a determinant in determinant we multiply we write first determinant in matrix in determinant form straight lines and then multiply their diagonal elements and between them is negative sign and if it is not equal to zero then proceed for the next calculation and adjoin in adjoint we change the principal diagonal 5 1 to 1 5 and start secondary diagonal 3 1 we change their sign and divide by determinant and it become a inverse now we multiply a into a inverse and then a inverse into a both conditions gives the same answer equal to identity therefore they are inverse of each other Now, solution of simultaneous linear equation of by using matrices. We have a equation, two linear equations. Then we write these equation in matrix form. In first matrix, we write their coefficient. In second, their variable and after equal sign we write the constant values and we name them a x is equal to b first matrix is equal to a second matrix is equal to x and after equal sign it is we sign it by b if a determinant is not equal to zero then a inverse exist and both side we multiply by a inverse and a inverse into a is equal to identity and a inverse b on the right hand side and a inverse is equal to adjoint over a determinant We know that the joint and determinant how to find these values. And now we multiply the matrices first row by first column because in the second matrix we have only one column and we proceed only single element first one row and one column and divide by determinant now solve these equations first of all we write in matrix form in first part 3 1 minus 1 and 1 and variable x1 x2 and after equal sign 1 and 3 we name them a x and b and we find determinant of a and a inverse So x is equal to a inverse b, a inverse into b and now we multiply these two matrices and get the answer 1 and 2 and x1 is equal to 1 and x2 is equal to 2.
in this example a determinant is equal to 0 so a inverse does not exist and no solution for this equation okay student Allah Hafiz if you have any problem contact with me Jazakallah